Okay, good afternoon folks, good evening rather, it's 7 p.m. on the dot, or 1900 hours, 1900 hours for your military folks. This is the word for today, for 11-2-19, uh, that is November 2nd, 2019. Today is November 1st, 2019, so this is the word for today. And God talked to me here on October 31st, 2019, and he gave me a very specific word. He is very upset. He said, these are about abortion sacrifices. He said, why do these people profane my name in my holy sanctuary? Why? And I respond back with, because they can. They show no respect and reverence. They don't even think about you and how you feel. They simply don't care said I. Okay, let's go over several Bible verses. I have probably about two dozen Bible verses here. So let's go and start with Leviticus chapter 20, verse 3. Okay, Leviticus 20, verse 3. I will set my face against that man and will cut him off from his people because he has given some of his descendants to Molech to defile my sanctuary and profane my holy name. Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 38. Ezekiel 23 and 38, Moreover, they have done this to me. They have defiled my sanctuary on the same day and profaned my Sabbath. My Sabbaths. Leviticus 18 and 21. Leviticus 18 and 21, And you shall not let any of your descendants pass through the fire to Molech, nor shall you profane the name of your God, I am the Lord. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 12. Leviticus 19 and 12, And you shall not swear by my name falsely, nor shall you profane the name of your God, I am the Lord. Leviticus 21 and 4, Leviticus chapter 21 verse 4, Otherwise he shall not defile himself, being a chief man among his people, to profane himself. Leviticus 21 verses 6 through 7 and verse 9. Leviticus 21, 6 through 7, They shall be holy to their God, and they'll profane the name of their God, for they offer the offerings of the Lord day by fire, and the bread of their God, therefore they shall be holy. They shall not take a wife who is a harlot or a defiled woman, nor shall they take a woman divorced from her husband. For the priest is holy to his God. Verse 9. Verse 9. The daughter of any priest, if she profanes herself by playing the harlot, she profanes her father. She shall be burned with fire. Leviticus chapter 21, verses 12 and 14 through 15. Leviticus 21, 12. Nor shall he go out of the sanctuary, nor profane the sanctuary of his God, for the con con consecration of the anointing oil of his God is upon him. Okay, skip down to 14 and 15. A widow, or a divorced woman, or a defiled woman, or harlot, these he shall not marry, but he shall take a virgin of his own people as wife. Nor shall he profane his prosperity among his people, for I the Lord sanctify him. Leviticus chapter 22, verses 2 and verse 9. Leviticus 22, 2. Speak to Aaron and his sons, that they separate themselves from the holy things of the children of Israel, and that they do not profane my holy name by what they dedicate to me. I am the Lord. Leviticus 22, verse 9. They shall therefore keep my ordinance, that they bear their sin for it, and die thereby. If they profane it, I, the Lord, sanctify them. Leviticus chapter 22, verses 15 and 32. Leviticus 22 and 15. They shall not profane the holy offerings of the children of Israel, which they offer to the Lord. Leviticus 22 and 32. You shall not profane my holy name, but I will be hollow among the children of Israel. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. Nehemiah 13 and 7. I'm sorry, Nehemiah 13 and 17. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 17. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah and said to them, What evil thing is this thing that you do by which you profane the Sabbath, Sabbath day? Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 11. Jeremiah 23 and 11. For both prophet and priest are profaned. Yes, in my house I found their wickedness, says the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 15. 
Ezekiel 21 and 15, I have set the point of the sword against all their gates, that the heart may melt and many may stumble. Ah, it is made bright, it is grasped for slaughter. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Ezekiel 22 and 26. Her priests have, have violated my law and profaned my holy things. They have not distinguished between the holy and unholy, nor have they made known the difference between the unclean and the clean, and they have hidden their eyes from my Sabbaths, so that I am profaned among them. Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 39. Ezekiel 23 and 39. For after they had slain their children for their idols, on the same day they came into my sanctuary to profane it, and indeed thus they have done in the midst of my house. And again I have responded back to God, Even now they are daring you to come down and here and punish them, said I. And there's three verses that go along with that. These three here, these are Second Chronicles 36 and 16, Second Peter 2 and 10, and Jeremiah 10 and 15. Let's go to 2 Chronicles chapter 36 verse 16. Okay, 2 Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of God, despised his words, and scoffed at his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there was no remedy. 2 Peter 2 and 10. Okay, 2 Peter 2 and 10. And especially those who walk according to the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise authority. They are presumptuous, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignitaries. And Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 15. Okay, Jeremiah 10 and 15. They are futile, a work of errors. In the time of their punishment, they shall perish. Then finally the word of the Lord came to me again. The word of the Lord came to me again and said, My anger burns against them, Glenn. My anger burns against them, Glenn. Tell them, tell them. Tell them I, I said so. So he says to me, he says, My anger burns against them, Glenn. Tell them. Tell them I said so. Then I respond back with, I will, said I. So we have these verses here, several of these. Exodus 22:24, Exodus 32:10, Jeremiah 17:4, Isaiah 5 and 25, Zechariah chapter 10, verse 3, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 17, and finally De Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 22. So let's go to Exodus chapter 22, verse 24. Okay, Exodus 22 and 24, And my wrath will become hot, and I will kill you with the sword. Your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus chapter 32, verse 10. Okay, Exodus chapter 32, verse 10. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, and I will make of you a great nation. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Jeremiah 17 and 4 states, And you, even yourself, shall let go of your heritage, which I gave you, and I will cause you to serve your enemies in the land which you do not know, for you have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Isaiah 5 and 25. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 25, Who justify the wicked for a bribe, and take away justice from the righteous man. Zechariah chapter 10, verse 3. Zechariah 10 and 3. My anger is kindled against the shepherds, and I will punish the goat herds, for the Lord of hosts will visit his flock, the house of Judah, and will make them as his royal horse in the battle. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 17. Okay, Deuteronomy 31 and 17. Then my anger shall be aroused against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Have not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us. Okay, and finally, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 22. Deuteronomy 32 and 22. For a fire is kindled in my anger, and shall burn to the lowest hell. It shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Okay, folks and family, that's it for now. That's the word for today, for November 2nd, 2019, on a, on a Sunday. This is part one 
I just want to give out some very specific warnings that God has given to me to warn the people out here to do such things. These people who do these wars and sacrifices, he's very angry and very displeased with what he sees. And he sent me, his prophet, to warn those who does such things will be destroyed and will be killed. So I'm telling you right now, the Lord is against you. Turn from your sins now and repent and he will forgive you. I thank you for your time. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Remember, God loves you, but he does not love your sins. God loves you, and I love you. Remember, Jesus is coming back soon. Get ready, and stay tuned for part two, which should be up shortly. Have a great weekend, and God bless you all. Bye-bye for now.